You guys, before this video starts, I want to tell you about this sick website that sells hella cheap NBA jerseys. The website is ringchasers.com. I copped myself a few jerseys on there a while back, and I honestly don't know how their prices are this cheap. If you guys want to get a sick deal on a jersey, make sure you check them out. Link will be in the description, and use code LQG at checkout for an extra 10% off. What's going on, guys? It's LQG, and today I'm back with another video. So today we have for you guys NBA Legends explain how good Penny Hardaway was. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below which players to do next, and I'll keep bringing these videos for you guys, but make sure I smash the like button on this video. Let's see if we get 100 likes, and also subscribe to the channel to catch all the new content. We are releasing daily videos for all of 2021, so make sure you don't miss out. With that being said, let's get into NBA Legends explain how good Penny Hardaway was. Oh, I can remember when I first got to Orlando, guys were saying, Shaq, you gotta take over, you gotta take over, you gotta take over. I've always, I was always a guy that didn't like to say much, but I went to LA to shoot a movie called Blue Chips. And as I told you guys earlier, I don't pay attention to who's coming out or who's doing what. That, that, that's not my style. So I'm playing, uh, you know, and they're like, okay, Penny, you play with Shaq. And like every time I put my hand up, this guy's hitting me with perfect passes. So finally I asked my boy Chicago, I said, yo, who that, who's that actor over there? He said, yo, man, that's Penny Hardaway. And I was like, who, who is that? He's like, yo, man, he plays for Memphis and they say he's going to be the number three pick. So, you know, uh, you know, the uh, draft comes around, Orlando gets the first pick. So now I'm remembering everybody saying, Shaq, you gotta exercise your power. So I go in the office and say, hey, if y'all don't give me Penny Hardaway, cause I just been playing with this guy shooting movies all summer, me and him could be the new Magic and Kareem of this era. If y'all don't get me him when my deal is up, I'm gonna talk about doing something else. And they promised me they would, they would. So now I'm at the house, I'm watching the draft. They draft Chris Webber. Now I'm pissed. I break TVs, I break furniture, <laughs> I'm mad, I'm yelling and screaming, I'm telling them, get my agent on the phone, I don't wanna be here, blah, 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 blah. And then after I calm down, I see that they traded Chris Webb and we got Penny. And it was very, very special. Penny is a mixture of, of all the other guys that I play with. At times he was like D-Wade because he could just take over the game. And I would have to tell him sometimes, like Penny, you go ahead and go, it's, it's you. Uh, you know, he's sort of like, uh, you know, LeBron, he's a great passer. You know, whenever I wanted the ball, whenever I ran the floor, he always got me the ball. We never had problems. And you know, he had that killer instinct of Kobe. And I hate to see his career cut short because of injury, but if he didn't have injuries, I think people would, you know, definitely hear his name, name more. Because Penny was the coldest young cat that I've seen ever since D-Wade, LeBron, and Kobe. And I'm not just saying that because he was here. I played with him. I seen him, and then guess what? He came in like this. You know, a lot of guys took a year or maybe two to develop, but Penny came in like that, and Penny nice. was a cold boy. And another guy that he reminded me of was Tracy McGrady, too, because he was long, but he was thin, but the way he went to the rack and the way he could just take over games. So, Penny, you know I love you. I'm going to salute you. It wouldn't be no shack if it wasn't for you, and I appreciate you very much. Moses. Man, this is my long-term goal. I'll play for anybody. <laughs> Why are you here tonight? I'm here to watch Kobe. And Shaq, my, you know, Shaq came to my game two years ago, and I'm here to watch them try to get a victory. They always talk about the next Michael Jordan, but who is your game pattern after? You know, I, I never pattern my game after anybody, but I can receive flashes of magic and uh, some of Penny Hardaway, one of my favorite players. If he had stayed healthy, Reg, finish that sentence. First ballot Hall of Famer. Easily. I mean, could do everything. I know people like to compare him to Magic Johnson. They were different type tall guards. Penny was special because he saw the floor like Magic, but I thought he was a better scorer and maybe post-up player than Magic. And to remember, him and Shaquille at a young age. I know. At a young age. I mean, we had our battles back in the early 90s going against those guys. And we were fortunate to beat them, but Penny was just a rookie. So I knew the following year, once he figured it out, and they took us to seven games and beat us in, in, in seven games. So, yeah, he would be a first ballot Hall of Fame. This Penny, Penny and Shaq could have been something really, really special. For a stretch there, Penny Hardaway. Remember the Penny Hardaway doll and the whole Tyra Banks thing? Yeah. And Chris Rock uh, being the voice of the... It was... He was part of the face of the league. Vince, you were nodding your head a lot. Give me a story well, about Penny. Well, I'm a Florida boy, so I grew up in Daytona Beach, and obviously with the Magic, uh, uh, we're around and, and during that time, uh, you know, Shaq, Penny, dominating. And I got the opportunity to play pickup with those guys in high school. Uh, I was good friends with Nick Anderson and 
Nick used to come watch me play and brought me out to play pickup. And that's when I kind of got the opportunity to get a sneak peek of what the NBA was like at 16 or 17 years old. And obviously just us being a fan, you know, me being a fan of the uh, Orlando Magic growing up, watching them play, getting the opportunity to play them, and then getting to the league and obviously playing against them. But I tell you, when I play in Memphis and the things he's done, you, Penny, which you've done in, in the city of Memphis, uh, it's just been amazing. You know, you get here and everybody like, man, you know, just obviously knowing you, but just hearing the, the praises and what you've done for the, the youth and the young kids in your, your AAU uh, team and the success you've had and obviously going on to Memphis and having the success and bringing in some of the talent. I mean, it just speaks to where they were and where they are now because of you, the person, you know, uh, obviously the, the recruiting you've done, but your, your game speaks for itself. But man, you've done some great things and it's been a pleasure obviously getting to know you as a young high school kid. Uh, as an NBA professional and uh, after our career as well. He is the, Jordan called him kid. Uh, Jordan, I think the only shoe that he's worn that have not been Jordans were pennies in a basketball game. Uh, I don't think we're hearing from Penny that much. We're just telling stories because we're giving him the roses. Uh, do, here are the shoes. This is the one. Penny, what was it like to see Jordan oh. wear your shoes? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Hey, first of all, you have to start clip. And secondly, uh, it was it was unbelievable seeing Michael with my shoes on. I didn't know why he wasn't wearing like an older pair of his uh, his sneakers. And to see him with those on was like it was crazy to see him before the game uh, warming up with those shoes on. Obviously, Penny is an iconic figure in the game of basketball. I mean, Little Penny is an iconic figure in the game of basketball. Um, but for me, I always try to go to personal stories, and here's one for me. So. When I was coming out of high school, Penny, I was academically ineligible. Um, this was year 2000. And I really didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should go to junior college, if I should go to college and sit out, or what I should do. So I was told to do a little research. And my research led me, led me to a player that played in the same conference, Conference USA, that went to Memphis State, eventually is now, everyone knows it is Memphis University, that was academically ineligible his first year. Um, in college and to be able to kind of you know 10 years later to look at the career you had in college to look at the at that time what you were doing in the NBA what you and Shaq was doing in the NBA um, they gave me the confidence that I was making the right decision you know taking you know going to college you know even though I didn't you know, pass my ACT and I just want to tell you like through all the hardship that you've dealt with in your life through everything you dealt with just understand how important you are and how important these moments are for people um, that, that looks up to you, that looked up to you. And I looked up to you because I've seen someone that, that was amazing at the sport that I wanted to play and that was going through, and went through the same trials and tribulations I went through in life, whether it was away from the game and whether it was dealing with school. So I thank you, man, for leading the way, um, for you know giving me someone within the conference that I was playing in and, and going through the same thing to show me that, you know what, you can go through this and you can still come out of this and be an all-star and be one of the best that ever played the game. Uh, one of my favorite players growing up, man, Legend. the killer. Uh, let's welcome Penny Hardaway, man. Thank you for your time and joining us today. Yeah, no, big bro, you, man. Appreciate you. So that's it for this video, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Like I said at the beginning, we're releasing daily videos for all of 2021, so you don't want to miss out. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.